Hi, and welcome to Campus Mortgage, the mortgage industry's leading provider of underwriting, processing, quality control, servicing, and closing training. Before we get started, please take a moment to read Campus Mortgage's disclaimer, and keep in mind the information contained in this video is time sensitive and subject to change without notice. Now let's get started. Today we will be discussing part two of a three-part video series which covers processing properties located in disaster areas. In part one, we discussed the different lender requirements when selling a closed loan. Now let's cover the different inspections that may be needed in order to meet those requirements. The need for additional inspections is dependent on the status of the loan when the disaster event strikes. When you have a loan that's currently in process, an appraisal report has been completed for that loan, and then a disaster strikes, there will be additional inspections required. In most instances, the lender will request that the appraiser go back out to the property to reinspect that collateral, the collateral for the loan being the property. When sending the appraiser back out, the lender is requesting that that appraiser recertify the value that was originally given to the property. That's the reason that most lenders are requesting for the appraiser to go, because they want that original appraiser to say the disaster has not impacted the condition of the home, the property is still marketable, and the value that was originally assigned to the property is still valid. So again, if you have a loan that is still in process and your appraisal has been completed and then a disaster strikes, you will likely incur an additional charge or an additional delay in the processing of the loan because that appraiser will need to go back out in order to recertify those important components to that property and that original appraisal report. If the appraiser does go back out and identifies that there, were, there was possibly damage done to the property, then the appraiser needs to comment and photograph that damage, and then it becomes up to the lender to determine if that damage needs to be repaired either before or after closing. Typically, any damage to a property that impacts the health, safety, or livability of that home will need to be repaired um, either prior to closing or a repair holdback account may be established to make sure that work gets done before that lender can deliver the loan to their secondary investor. Now, if you have a loan that's in process, however, that appraisal has not been completed before the disaster strike, then you'll be able to um, quickly meet requirements for any disaster inspections. So disaster strikes and then the appraiser goes out for the first time, all you need for that appraiser to do is to comment that there was no damage sustained to the property as a result of any um, storms or recent disasters in that event. So again, if the appraiser is going out for the first time, they're appraising that home after the disaster struck. So that original report will have already taken into account any damage or marketability concerns as a result of that storm or disaster event. So if the appraisal is done after the event, you just simply are looking to make sure the appraiser has commented or has verified that there has been no damage or has already identified any damage that property may have sustained as a result of that disaster. So this covers the timing of different appraisal inspections that may be needed when a disaster strikes and your loan is still in process. In our next series, we'll cover um, what you may run into if there was not an appraisal required on your loan. And then also we'll talk about some of those additional guideline flexibilities that may be out there for your homes located in disaster areas. So this concludes part two of this three-part video series. For more tips, videos, and for a full list of courses offered by Campus Mortgage, please visit our website at www.campusmortgage.org.
Thank you, and as always, make it a great day.